How we doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's been quite a, it's been quite a while, a couple of days, right? It's been a couple of days since I've uploaded a video, but you know, today's video is very important to me, and I feel as though to you. So, before you click off, I want you to give this video a chance. I want you to just listen to what I'm saying, okay? After I did the fresh and fit videos, a lot of people in the comment section they were saying, "Yo, you, you talking about stuff you don't know about?" You know, people was throwing the name Cynthia G around. I had no idea who Cynthia G was, okay? But I'm like, okay, I don't want to be ignorant and just start making videos about people and not researching. So I'm one of those people I like to people watch and I like I like to research. I'm nosy. I'm nosy like that, okay? So I started binge watching a lot of these videos. A lot of the Red Pill channels, I started binge watching their videos. And you know, once you the way YouTube works, once you start looking at certain type of content, they start suggesting more stuff to you. So finally, I started seeing the, the women version of, of these videos. I started binge watching those. And I'm going to tell y'all something, man. I'm going to tell you something right now. If you sit there and you watch a lot of these videos, fall back. Take, take a step back. Okay? Take a step back. Because these type of things and these type of thoughts are getting your subconscious and it's going to affect your day to day. I was watching these videos for about three weeks and already I see how it started kind of affecting my marriage. I'm going to give y'all a perfect example. It's a funny story, but at the same time, it's serious. Okay? So my wife's cousin came out here and they ended up going to dinner. They went to like a seafood restaurant. And during this time, I'm fasting, like I'm intimate fasting. I'm trying to lose, I'm trying to lose weight because I, I feel as though I want to stop boxing again. So I'm trying to lose weight. So, you know, my wife knows this. I, I fast for about 16 hours, give myself an eight hour in the window to eat. And then that's that, then I work out and stuff like that. So anyway, they go to the restaurant, they come back. Her cousin bought some food for her father. And <laughs> my wife ain't bring no food for me. So I'm sitting there and I'm just like, yo, in my mind, I'm like, yo, this is what the alpha niggas be talking about. Like, she don't got no motherfucking respect for me. How you gonna come home and bring food and you don't bring no food back for me? Right? <laughs> now, mind you, all this is going through my mind, bro. My whole demeanor changed, bro. Like, my whole atti attitude towards everybody in the house just changed. I'm just like, yo, nah, I can't stand for that. Now, mind you, I'm fasting, and two, I don't eat seafood. Like, I eat, like, fish and stuff like that, but I don't eat shrimp. I don't eat crab. I don't eat none of that. To me, them, those are the roaches of the sea, and my wife knows this. But the fact that she ain't bring me no food, I'm sitting there watching her cousin's father tear that food up. And I'm just like, yo, she ain't even give me a chance to say, nah, thank you, babe, but I'm good. And I'm like, yo. <laughs> Bro, I went to sleep upset. I went to sleep. I was pissed. I was pissed off when I went to sleep. I woke up. I wasn't speaking to her. I went to work. She's like, oh, ha have a good day at work, babe. I'm like, mm-hmm. I came back. Then, like, nobody was home. I, I asked her. I'm like, yo, what's up with you, man? Like, you ain't had no food in here? This, that, and the third? When she explained it to me, I was like, oh, okay. Then I sat back, and I really started thinking about what was going on. And I'm like, yo, nah, I got to stop watching these videos. I got to stop watching these videos. So now I started... I stopped watching the videos for a little bit, and then I started back. But I started back with more of like a, try to analyze like the people that are actually making the videos. What could you have went through in your life that would make you feel the way you feel about women? Especially black women. Or what could you as a woman have went through in your life that would make you feel the way you feel about black men? You know what I'm saying? And I can't see nothing that could be that bad that would you, that you would just have to put, like, 
women of your same race, your same, you know what I'm saying? Your ancestors went through the same shit a couple hundred years ago. Because slavery ain't finished that long ago. Segregation ain't stopped that long ago. You feel what I'm saying? For us to be on the white people internet and motherfucking crucifying each other. Crucifying each other, bro. Like, I went to the, the Cynthia G page. Like, I'm not 100% sure what her content is, bro. I seen, like, two videos, and I couldn't watch it all the way through because it just... it. I, I'm not going to lie. It, it, it hurt my spirit. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? I see a lot of stuff where she said, like, black men have, have feminine traits. Maybe the fact that it hurt my spirit to hear a black woman, like, really dog black men like that, it... Maybe it's a feminine trait of mine, bro. I just I just remember it was one video. I just seen the title and I was like, all right, I can't I can't do no more. It said like white zaddy. Um, white zaddy like explains why black men can't be alpha. Or some some something to that effect, bro. And I was just like, oh nah, nah, I can't do that. I can't watch this. I can't watch this, bro. Like, what's what's going on? What's up with y'all, man? It's like the white folks gave us the internet with no instruction manual and we just using it to destroy us, my nigga. Like, so now all I'm saying to you as an audience, you out here, if you're sitting there and watching these videos, I want you to, I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on, right? Because the reason that you might take interest in these videos is because something might have happened in your life, okay? You might be going through a breakup. You might be going through something, and you find these videos, and you like, oh my God, there's somebody out here who understands what I'm going through. Now, that does not mean that these videos are helping you. These videos are not helping you when you watch the when you watch them. They're not helping you because at the end of the day, all it's doing is what the why my camera keep unfocusing. At the end of the day, what it's doing is you're playing hot potato with it. Like you're not. They're not cleaning up whatever sh whatever shitty feeling you have towards that woman or that man who, who hurt your feelings or whatever. They're not curing that. They just feeding it. You know what I'm saying? Every day it's, it's new new ammunition as to why black men ain't shit or why, why black men can't be alpha. Every day it's just new ammunition. It's nothing that's saying, well, you know what? This is how we could we could handle this situation. This is what needs to happen. You know, it's it's nothing like that. It's nothing like that because at the end of the day, once people start fixing your problem, you're not they're not, you're not gonna need them anymore. Once these people start making videos that's actually gonna pinpoint whatever issue you is, it is that you have with 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 women or or with men or whatever. You're not gonna need them anymore, cause you're 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 gonna be you're gonna be good. You're gonna be healed. You're gonna be able to find somebody to love you. You're gonna be able to find somebody to love, and you're not gonna be watching these videos anymore. And guess what? They're gonna fall out the YouTube algorithm. Like I'm just, I'm sorry, bro. I don't care who the fuck got a problem with me saying this shit. Come fight me, nigga, because these these niggas right here. You see these two motherfuckers at the end of this shirt? You see them? They would not appreciate the type of stuff that y'all doing right now, bro. They wouldn't appreciate that at all. You feel me? That that's that's all I gotta say, man. I know I don't sound as educated as the rest of y'all. Whatever, I talk with a slang, but put me in a room with any one of y'all, bro. I'll, I'll think the fuck out of you. I know that for sure. But I'ma just say this, bro. Black folks, please, please, bro. Don't let these these Judases destroy us. You know what I'm saying? Like white folks give us stuff and and let us destroy ourselves. To the people who speak this type of language, does having money make you a real nigga? Just just answer me that question. Does having money make you a real nigga? Does having money make you a stand-up guy? Right? Having money does not make you a stand-up guy. So don't think having money make you automatically make you a, a, a leader who could lead a family and this, that, and the third. Like a lot of a lot of the stuff that I'm hearing people saying 
is more so like you want women to to dumb themselves down to your level so you can control them. Like you don't even know how to really you don't know how to talk a woman down off of her high horse. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how to gain her trust. Vice versa with women. Like, granted, things have changed from the 1920s and all that. You know, now women have the rights to vote, and now women are getting higher paying positions and stuff like that. But that does not mean that you're just going to automatically compete with a man. Like, you still need a man around the house. Shit just, shit just hurt my feelings, son. Like... I mean, I'm younger than a lot of the people that, that are making these videos, but the fact that y'all are older than me and can't see the the the, the poison that y'all are putting out there is, is sad. This shit is poisonous. This shit is poisonous, son. But anyway, man, that's, that's the video, okay? I'm probably not going to edit this up. I, I, just wanted, I just wanted to come out here and say what I got to say, man. Y'all got to be careful with the poison y'all are putting out there, okay? I love my melanated people. You know what I mean? And, and let's do better.